Jared Poland, Frono's Photo.com, and this is the review of the brand new Canon T4i with the 18 to 55 kit lens. That's right. Well, that's how it came to me. They do sell it body only for what is it, 849? And with the kit, it's 949, which right off the bat is pretty expensive for a very beginner. Well, I can't call it a very beginner camera because it's packed full of really good things. But that's kind of expensive right off the bat, especially with the price of a 60D uh, and the price of a T3i body only being in the $550 range. So that's all beside the point. This is the review of this little bad boy. And throughout this review, you're going to see videos playing on the side. You're going to see different sample videos coming up. But first things first, how does it feel in the hands? Well, it feels perfectly fine. Uh, it fits well. It, it, it's, you know, if you have really big hands, of course, it's going to be a little harder to hold. But that's a given when you're dealing with a much smaller camera. Um, What's different here is it has a touchscreen, and I was really enthused about the touchscreen when I first unboxed it and tried it and thought it was the coolest thing since sliced bread. And I will say, the touchscreen is pretty cool. My nose didn't knock uh, the buttons out of whack because there is a lock button that literally you touch it, and it will not allow your nose to change any of the settings on the screen, which is a concern that a lot of people have, being that our noses get smushed right into the back of the camera. And I can say that, you know, I liked swiping through my images on the screen or zooming in by pinching. We live in a touchscreen world these days. Everything is touchscreen from your iPads, iPhones to whatever phone you may have. We touch it. It's just intuitive. You open up the screen, you touch what you want, it works. In video mode, you can touch the screen where you want it to focus, and it works. So in terms of image quality, I think it's perfectly fine. You know, at 3200, you start to see a little bit of noise when you're outside, and that was when I was using the 40 millimeter pancake lens. Um, but you're going to see noise no matter what, and I try not to be overly critical of these things. This is meant to be a beginner camera, but it's a beginner camera that does a lot of great things from still images to HD video that is extremely clean and you know really impactful in my mind. Um, the still images are fine. The focus worked very well. Um, the menus are easy to get through. The settings on the camera are easy to find. You turn it on, you flick a switch. You want to go to video, you flick the switch further. It makes sense. I think it's one of the better laid out Canon cameras that I've held with the menu button where it is and, and just everything feels like it is where it should be. Sure, there's a bunch of other buttons on the back here that I think are meaningless, but you know, everything does have a purpose. Uh, so I'm very happy with the still images. You get your five frames a second, but you're not going to try to overrun this. I know some people have reviewed it and said that, you know, it's not really meant for a sports camera because you're going to overrun the buffer. Again, if you spray and pray and you're just shooting way too much, uh, you're going to outrun any buffer. Um, so really just if you're shooting five frames and you're holding down the, the, the shutter button for 10 seconds and you're shooting 10 frames and you're filling the buffer, you should be filling the buffer because you're shooting way too much. I think the, the image quality is very good. Everything looks sharp. Of course, a lot depends on the lens. In my mind, the 18 to 55 is not a lens that I would fully recommend to somebody who wants to go to the next step. But as a beginner lens, it's perfectly fine. It's going to do a good job in video. Uh, it's going to do a good job with stills. And then as you grow, you can add other lenses like I always talk about, you can always add more lenses to your bag. Better lenses as you get better. Still at $949 with the kit lens, I may say buy body only and get a 51.8 or invest in that 40 millimeter 2.8. You can always pick these guys up at Allen's Camera. They have all of your Canon stuff. Give them a call anytime. Check them out at allenscamera.com and they will help you buy whatever you need or find whatever you need for Canon, uh, Nikon or whoever else you want to go with. So that's the image quality. I'm happy with it. Focusing, fine. Everything looks good. Now let's get into the video. It, a lot of people ask, does the new lens, do you, do you hear the autofocus in video? Do you hear it working? Yeah, you still hear the as you try to use the continuous focus. This camera does continuous focus in video. I don't recommend using that because you're just going to get frustrated trying to track or follow things. It really isn't going to keep up with fast moving subjects. Um, I still recommend shooting in manual and just sitting there and manually focusing it. That's what I found worked the best for myself when I was out doing a video shoot with this camera. Um, 
the video quality is great. I love the quality that comes out of the Canon. I even think, well, it does surpass what comes out of the Nikon uh, 9 out of 10 times. Even from my D4, I feel that th this is very clean. A lot's going to depend on the lens and the glass that you put on it. I can see some interesting artifacts happening when you use an 18 to 55, but it's nothing major. The colors look fine. The clarity looks fine. Uh, just everything about the video, I am really happy with that. If I had a full system set up and I just wanted cameras for video, I would buy the Canons to do that over buying the Nikon if you're looking for video. So people looking to just pick a camera to start off, if you're looking to do primarily more video than photos, this is a very good option. Um, it's even a great option for photos. So it, it's kind of a toss up when you're first starting out which camera to get, a Nikon or a Canon. It doesn't really matter. This is a solid camera that I would have no problem recommending to anybody starting out. Sure, I think it's a little expensive. Is it much better than the T3i? It's a little better in my opinion with the video and the new image sensor and processor. But will you miss that if you've never had a camera before? No. So. I would, you know, look into a, a T3i, maybe save some money there and invest right in, in into the glass right away. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a beginner camera. It does a lot of great things. The video is very good. The stills are very good. It feels good in the hands. Uh, it's got a lot of good features like the microphone input for adding an extra microphone or for adding a microphone. It has stereo mics up top here. They're perfectly fine. Listen. You can't overanalyze these cameras. They are meant to be what they are for as a beginner camera. They are not your five, six thousand dollar pro bodies that you can rip to shreds if there's something you're not happy with. This is an under thousand dollar body that is a great place to start if you're just looking for something to do photos and videos and learn what you're doing. You're not going to have a problem shooting at higher ISOs. You're not going to really see too many issues when you're shooting video. So don't overanalyze this stuff and think that, you know, if you see one minor thing wrong with it, that it's the worst camera ever built. It's a basic beginner camera. It does a great job. I think the T4i is a great camera to start with if you can afford it. Uh, you also have that 60D option. But look, as a beginner, it's a good way to go. And that's really what I have to say about that. So I was happy with it. I enjoyed shooting with it. Great stills, great video. I think the quality is very, very good. Put some good glass on it, and I think you would be very happy with the results that you're going to get. So if you would like to pick one of these up, definitely check out allenscamera.com. They'll help you with whatever you need to know about your Canon cameras, or for that matter, any other camera and lenses that are out there. So there you have it. You can download the full res sample images from fronosphoto.com. Uh, so you can analyze them if you so choose for yourself. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here. Put your name, email address in here, hit send it. You will get a free ebook sent to your email, as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that, and we'll see you.